Hi, Gary Golka here from DAS. I'm going to show you our latest millimeter creation. This particular version has what we call ambient temperature deviation detection built into it. Now that sounds complicated, but it's really just a short word for calling it a hot and cold spot detector. Let's first address the function buttons located on the front. As we look at the device, you see we've got several buttons here. We have a row of LEDs on the top, which are reserved for the hot and cold spot detection. In the front, we have a flashlight, our thermocouple, and another little temperature sensor. It's a thermistor located just above the thermocouple block. On the side, we have a new button, which is a baseline button or a tear button. And on the back, behind the tilt stand, we have another power button which goes to our new hot cold spot detection circuit. Let's turn on the millimeter and go over some of the features. You turn on the millimeter by holding the power button for four seconds. As we look at the unit, you can see right away that the backlight is red. It's designed to be compatible with night vision and other types of infrared video that you might be using. On the front of the unit, you have a series of buttons. The first one is your power button that requires four seconds to turn on and off. It's also reserved as a toggle switch for your flashlight. So by turning, just tapping the button, it comes on, tapping the button, the flashlight goes off. Everything is within your thumb's reach on this instrument. The second button down is for monitoring the min and max of your EMF and temperature. To activate it, you simply tap this button. Now, once in the record mode, it's looking for changes that occur in the environment, whether it be EMF or temperature. If I increase the temperature, I'll hold my finger on the tip of the probe up here. You can see that it's climbing up a little bit. Take a little bit of compressed air, blow it over the sensor, and make it go down. To take a look at the data change, you simply tap the button again and you can see right away that it says maximum and it shows you the highest temperature was 72.9 that it reached when I touched it with my finger and if I tap it again it will show you the lowest temperature in this case was 64.4 now had the EMF changed as well it would have showed you the min and max EMF change during that same time period you can turn off the min max by simply holding the record button for three seconds and it turns back to normal. Right below it you have what we call a hold button. The hold button simply latches the display at any time. Just touch that with your finger. Everything is right there. It latches the display. On the top right we have our range and fast button. The range and fast button or burst mode allows you to turn off the temperature. Hold that three seconds. By turning off the temperature, we allocate 100% of the microprocessor's speed to update the EMF display. That will give you almost instantaneous display of EMF change. You'll end up getting about uh, 12 to 15 samples per second update time, which is pretty fast. That's great for looking for changes as you sweep a room and those types of things. To reactivate the temperature, you hold the button again for three seconds. And we're back to live data, EMF, and temperature. Stepping on down to the next button on the right, we have a unit button. The unit button helps you to select whether you want to read micro Tesla, which is more of a European engineering unit, or milligauss, which is our US equivalent. It's basically an engineering unit of measure. On the bottom, you have a manual on off your backlight display at any time. By the way, in this particular model, you may notice a little dot in the center of these buttons. The buttons actually glow in the dark. So if I was to take these right now, I'm just going to expose them to a light. You can see how they glow. Now let's talk a little bit about the cold spot detector and how that works. Because that's really an interesting circuit. The only way to really do that, when you think about it, is I created a circuit that not only shows you the temperature deviation starting from your baseline, but it also 
converts a temperature change into sound. And by converting temperature into sound, you can hear the temperature change as it occurs. We've indexed each individual temperature or degree change to a one octave step that your ears can discern. So I'll demonstrate that for you. There we go. All right. Right now, the unit's turned on. Now we're ready to go. As soon as you turn it on, it's baseline to the environment temperature, and it's looking for a change. Unlike the digital temperature, which measures the absolute value, all we care about right now is, is there a change that occurs? Is the temperature going up, or is the temperature going down? If the temperature goes up, red LEDs will illuminate, and there's an ascending tone for each degree it goes up. If the temperature drops, there will be blue lights and a descending tone indexed to each individual temperature change going down. So let's demonstrate what it would sound like and look like if you were to experience a cold spot. I think I'm going to put this on a tilt stand. Put that right there. I'm going to put a little bit of cool air across the sensor. There we go. I took away the air. It's going back. There. Baseline. Okay. Now let's uh, go through a temperature increase. Now to do that, I'm going to touch the, the temperature sensor. There you go. That's what happens when you go through a temperature increase. Now eventually, it'll reach its baseline. The thermistor is actually exposed, so the thermal mass of that particular sensor and the insulation around it is very minimal. So it is a rapid change sensor, and there we are, we're baseline based on the temperature increase. I just touched it with my finger. And then I'll do one more cold spot. There we go. You can hear the tone, but there are ways that you can adjust this so that you can actually eliminate the sound and so just have the lights. The way to do that is on the side we're going to use our little baseline switch which is also a setting switch. It's almost like setting a digital clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this and watch the display. Red, group. Okay. Right now we don't have sound. I'll touch how the silent. Okay, so we just turned off the sound for actually the hot and cold on that one. And then I'll hit it with cold air. You can see that that's also quiet. And by the way, you can baseline at any time. Let's say that you're, let's say that you're in an environment and the temperature naturally goes up a degree. At any point in time you can press give you an idea. Let's say that it goes up one degree here. Okay, one or two degrees. Simply press that button on the side and it baselines. We'll do that again so you can see. Temperature goes up a little bit. Just baseline it. And it's zero. This is the new Melmeter from DAS. Turn that off.